The new Premier League season only moments away. But which team will stamp their authority today? We will soon find out. Stay tuned for all the action. A warm welcome to you all. Without further delay, we are pleased to introduce your new manager. Stars at your window. No, you can't sleep. You pretend though you don't have to play the hero. Cause I got you like you got me. When the earth shakes, when the bombs scream, until I last breath, every heartbeat.
welcome and I can tell you it was a dry walk to the gantry today no rain in sight my name is Derek Ray and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson and we have pre-season group stage action coming right up for you what might we Fernandes and a strong tackle. Can he make it 1-0? And he finds the net! No difficulties encountered! Room to manoeuvre on the wing. Oh, a fine block. Rashford couldn't keep it. Can he play it in? Well, the cross came over and a real need to get... <laughs> Wanted to keep it, but couldn't. Bruno Fernandes into the final 20 minutes Rashford onto Ronaldo he's in behind he scored once already and close a foul and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick a bit of inspiration with that free that's how to rob them of possession and the referee blows for full time positives for Manchester United three points for them what did you make of it all? well Derek it was very competitive chances at both ends but I feel they were the better team and they deserved their victory And on the back of this, no doubt about it, Cristiano Ronaldo generating headlines. Well, he obviously scored the winning goal, but it was his overall performance that impressed me most. He was on fire today.
Hello everyone, you know some footballers enjoy a rainy day, not sure fans always feel that way, but an exciting match in prospect nonetheless. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you match commentary, and alongside me is Stuart Robson, and we have more live action. Real chance. Surely vital intervention. And possession lost, intercepted. And there's the delivery. Oh, good save. Excellent header. Really good high press. Shaw. Martial in the middle. Well, he missed the targets and then some. <laughs> and now the delivery. Well, still an issue here. Damia Bay. Well, it didn't really go according to the script. Well, that's a really good authority to come. Now he must favour the cross. And that is the end of the game. It goes down as a United triumph. The fans are going to be happy with this. Well, Derek, it was a really tight game, but they were the better side. Racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner, as always, is Stuart Robson. And we have more live action from the pre-season third. Well, Manchester United have chosen this particular shape. David De Gea between the posts. Scott McTominay starts alongside Christian Eriksen in the centre of midfield. And the focal point in attack today... Oh, he can score here, Derek. Well, the only way to say it is he got it... Opportunity it is. Still a chance. And off the frame of the goal. Well, he did... Timely intervention. Now that short pass, this could be interesting. And a good challenge to bring that attack. The supporters want to see him have a go. Rashford! Just what Manchester United required. They are level. And he read it well. A 
And they might be through here. And it's in! They're back in front! Stunning scenes here! And he's broken free! Can he find the net? And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's not celebrating. Well, that's one for them to pursue. Rashford! And a touch of finesse. Nicely saved. And there it is, the final whistle. It's a Manchester United victory. Well, Derek, it was fairly comfortable in the end because they were tactically superior, had better individuals, and were always a threat going forward. It was a really good performance and a good result as well. Well, Casemiro certainly did his job. Not that that should come as any great surprise. Interested to know what you made of his performance. Well, he looked a top-class player today. Every time he touched the ball, he was a threat. And he worked so hard for the team as well. What a good display that was. Thank you all for your patience. We're going to start taking questions now. OK, guys, we're going to end the new Premier League season only moments away. But which team will stamp their authority today? We will soon find out. Stay tuned for all the action. Everyone is happy here at Old Trafford for the time being. I say that because the sun is shining brightly. My name is Derek Ray, excited to be bringing you match commentary. And alongside me, my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And it is a day of renewal, the first game of the Premier League season. Always something to look forward to. It's Manchester United up against Arsenal. Well, Derek, these fans expect Champions League qualification here. And they've got every reason to feel that way, I think. But they'll need to get off to a winning start just to build that confidence. At number seven, Cristiano Ronaldo. And here's the lineup for Manchester United. Davy De Gea stands between the posts. Christian Eriksen plays with Casemiro in the centre of the pitch. And the focal point in attack today is Cristiano Ronaldo. And so the starting 11 for Arsenal. Thomas Partey starts with Granit Xhaka in the centre of the pitch. And leading the line today is Gabriel Jesus.
And so the match is underway. And United have it back. Ronaldo. Dallo. And providing width. Excellent ball towards the front post. Well, it wasn't a great header, in all fairness. And a goal kick it is. And finally a chance to have a look at the new signing, Ronald Araujo, in this, his debut. Stuart, what can our viewers expect from him? Well, I think he's a really good defender. He makes timely interceptions, he makes the right decisions about when to squeeze up and when to drop off, and he's decent in the air. But he'll need to form an understanding with his teammates quickly, and that's not always easy. Now well, able to close down the shot. Anthony. Committed challenge. A really sumptuous ball. And it's Gabriel Jesus. Chance to cross. Happy to take on the shot. Well, couldn't bend his run. And the... Fernandes. Oh, oh, great block. The next game are available for sale after today's game. Saka. And he read it well defensively. Manchester United keep the ball. Advantage. Well, the advantage didn't come to very much. Hence the award of a free kick by the referee. Anthony. Take it away. Considerable momentum, courtesy of Ronaldo. But what can he produce from here? And there's been a goal at Villa Park. So as ever, we join Alex for an update. It's a goal for Villa. They've scored the opener here with 27 minutes played. Thanks as always to Alex Scott. Well, no stopping him. And crossed in there. And a no-nonsense clearance. And the counter looks on here. Options available. There's so many possibilities, but it didn't happen for them. Casemiro there. Can they forge ahead? Splendid defending. And a throw in for Arsenal. Well, the stats don't lie. It's been very tense and an even battle so far, but neither side has played with enough quality to pose a real threat going forward, and that needs to change. Smith Rowe. Can he play it in? Gabriel Jesus. Oh, good save. And so the first half story has been written. Half time here at Old Trafford. And so the second half gets underway. Almost a case of the two teams saying to each other, whatever you can do, I can do just as well. Inside he goes. The save was a good one. Well, just listen to these fans. They're urging their team to score here and take the lead. And over from Ericsson. Oh, cleared off the line. Alert defending. He takes aim. 
Well, up at the top it goes. He didn't miss by an awful lot. Well, there's the confirmation. That was nowhere near to crossing the line, was it? on the flank now well, space if he goes inside well the fans really want him to shoot really good challenge Saka now we're into the final half hour strong but fair tackle And United will get the throw in. It's going to be a story of two substitutes on at the same time for United. Diogo Dallo. Promising attack this. But nothing comes of it. And don't forget we have more Premier League action coming up for you on EA TV. It's Manchester United facing Wolverhampton Wanderers. That should be a tasty encounter. Plenty of quality in those two sides. Certainly one to enjoy. This might be ideal for the counter. Can they keep it going? Well, it looked highly promising, but it came to nothing in the end. It's going to be United's free kick. Well, warned by the referee, but not cautioned. Well, he can't say he hasn't been warned now. That's good from the referee. Able to skip past his man. And options in the centre. And space for him to cut in. And the free kick awarded to Manchester United. Well, sadly, you've got to say, it all went horribly wrong for him. They've been so poor in front of goal, and no wonder the manager's agitated. They should be comfortably ahead in this. Well, in an advanced position, looking to remedy that here. It's going to be United's free kick. And Cristiano Ronaldo waiting. Well, it didn't really work the keeper when all was said and done. Now we're inside the final ten minutes in this one. He's given it straight to the opposition. Pedraza. Advantage Manchester United. All even, but will it stay that way? Well, it came to nothing in the end. Emil Smith Rowe. Martin Odegaard. Keeping possession of the ball with authority. Sancho. Well, the United fans can sense a winner coming here, but can they create one more big chance? Ronaldo. Can they forge ahead? Yes is the answer. And that could be oh so important. Well, here it is again. And I don't expect keepers to save everything at their near post. But I think he should probably do better. He'll be a little bit disappointed with that. Oh, 
are back underway and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Might be able to get in behind the defence. And there it is, the full-time whistle. A victory for Manchester United. Yeah, they should be happy with that. It was a good display and it's always important to get off to a decent start. Well, we're focusing on Cristiano Ronaldo for a reason, Stuart. Fair to say, he's been at his brilliant best. Well, he was the best player on the pitch today. His movement, skill and work rate were excellent. And of course, what a time to come up with a goal.